photography is about patience. You have to choose your moment. So you have to be patient and you have to be prepared. Uh, especially when you're talking ocean photography. It's uh, nature. You can't predict that. And so you're trying to put all the elements in your favor. It means working with the right surfers and working with the right equipment, getting the right camera to freeze these moments. I want a fast camera that is very reactive because it's going to happen once and if you miss it, then you're not going to be able to make it happen again. I'm based here in Tahiti for this wave at Chopo and, and so basically I'm waiting all year for the right conditions to happen. It's like a, a window where everything happened and, and that's when you have to be ready. Tehopo is, uh, is very famous, but it, it's one of the heaviest waves in the world. It can be very dangerous. It's very shallow, it's really heavy. The whole ocean is breaking on dry reef. I've seen some accidents, people getting injured and, and all of a sudden it's a different story. But the reward is insane. Time stops basically when you're into that commitment. It's like a game, you're trying to, to get the action and I like that challenge. The whole process is uh, so intense that when you finally got the photo and you're looking at the back of the camera and you're like, wow. It's pure joy to capture this moment. I've been using Canon cameras for years and I've had all these 1DX series. But this new body, there are three major improvements. The focusing, then how many frames per second the camera is capturing, but also the buffer having no limits. And I think all these factors are really important for spot photographer because you want to be ready and you don't want to be restricted by your camera. I'm out there shooting photo from the water at Chopo. The game is to be in the barrel for a split second with the surfer and be as close as possible. That's why I'm using a fisheye. So imagine now how short that moment is. Having 20 frames per second is a game changer. And that's what I've been discovering this last few days using the 1DX3. When the conditions happen and when it's great and you know you're creating great images, you can't stop. That's how sometimes you end up swimming for eight to 10 hours just because it's so good. I've shot yesterday like 4,000 photos or even more and video and shooting live view a lot. And the battery was still like at least 50% or more. Well, because the ocean is always different, it's always offering different conditions. I don't count the time. I'm, I love being out there, and the more I live here in Tahiti, the more I realize that Chopo is really unique. There is a huge potential to capture images that are not possible to capture anywhere else in the world. The new 1DX Mark III, you're able to really capture the action as you were never able before.